Man, <laughs> juggling is hard. Yeah, this is even harder than setting up logging and monitoring for my cloud infrastructure. Actually, if you use Stackdriver, it's a piece of cake. What's that? Stackdriver is a tool that lets you monitor and get insight into your applications. Sounds useful. How do we get started? Let me jump right into a demo. OK, to start things off, we're going to take a instance that I've just set up here uh, and go ahead and install Apache and PHP into it as a kind of a basic example. So I'll go ahead and SSH into this. And this is just a brand new small instance I've set up that I haven't done anything with yet. Uh, but we want to make sure that we actually have something to monitor. Of course, using Stackdriver, you kind of want to monitor and log different events that are going to come out of, in this case, the default uh, Linux properties, but you know you can easily configure that to add additional logging. We're just going to accept the basics here. So I'll go ahead and install uh, Apache and PHP. Go ahead and let these update. And once those are done, we'll make sure everything looks good. And then we'll install the actual stack driver uh, agents. So nothing special here. Let these run through. Okay, we'll skip that 30 seconds. And now that it's all set up, we'll go ahead and make sure everything looks good by bringing up this in a new tab. And we can see, there we go, we have Apache 2 successfully installed. So now what we're gonna do is actually install the agent itself. We're gonna go ahead and look at a quick script that basically just grabs the different agents, the monitoring agent and the logging agent, and then installs them. So we'll go ahead and run those. And while that's happening, we'll go ahead and take a look at the stack driver interface. That'll probably take about a minute. So we know that Apache works. And in the Google Cloud console, we can take a look for Stackdriver. Now, if this is your first time setting up Stackdriver or clicking on this monitoring link, which takes you to the Stackdriver interface, uh, you may have to go through a small setup process. Basically, you're just going to choose what uh, GCP project you're using and some other small setup steps. That can take another couple of minutes as well. But once you have that set up, you can easily just come to this interface and switch projects like you might already be familiar with. So once we kind of have those logs installed, we should be able to go here to resources, click on instances, and we should see that the instance is set up right here. You can see another instance that I had set up earlier, but LAMP instance is the one we want to take a look at. So I'll click on that. And you can see just by kind of running that quick uh, command line, we have the agent installed and it's already monitoring some of the more standard uh, metrics that you might see on an instance, including uh, CPU and memory usage, network throughput, these kind of things. So this is a great way to kind of just quickly get that set up. One of the other great things you can do in Stackdriver is actually set up a dashboard. So if you go to dashboards and hit create dashboard, you can start to add charts. Charts are basically these metrics that you're going to be able to select from a list here and kind of choosing your instance, get a better understanding of creating a custom monitoring dashboard for the metrics that you actually care about. One of the other important aspects of Stackdriver is going to be alerting. So by setting up an alerting policy, we can easily take a metric on an instance and tell it, tell Stackdriver to notify us when something happens. So if we go ahead and add an example condition, such as uh, our instance here, oh, we already have an instance, we'll pick our LAMP instance. And we can go ahead and choose something like if the CPU load average is above 80%, that might be something that we're concerned about because maybe that means our uh, web server is serving too much traffic or some process is locked. We'll go ahead and choose that. And then we'll add the notification. So here we can add an email, we can add an SMS, a couple of different integration options here. There are tons of things we can do. And then in documentation, we can just add some additional texts in case we want to set up some more advanced monitoring or just in case we want to know, uh, you know, what kind of flag or what group this was set to. We can use that for custom text, name the policy and then save it. And that way we'll get notified in case anything happens. Now, the next part we'll look at is the actual logging. So if we come here and click on logging, we can see the default logging interface, which is also using Stackdriver. On this drop down here, we can choose what instance we want to look at. In our case, we're going to look at LAMP instance. And in the subsequent filter, we're going to go ahead and choose syslog. 
once we fit, set that to the filter, we can see all the different things that have been sent to syslog just so that we can measure whatever applications might be using or whatever any other loggings, well, anything that gets sent to syslog, really. Just like that, you can set up logging, monitoring, and more. Great, now I'll have a real grip on my application in the cloud. Yeah, if only it was that easy to learn how to juggle. <laughs> Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to get in contact with us, click on the link in the description.